Hi guys, this is Haley Dotset, the new director of volleyball operations here at Adrenaline Volleyball. I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing um, a lot about this top testing that we have been working on, and we're so excited to be able to debut this at the Future 50 Elite Camp this year. Um, so the goal of this video is to explain as much as we can so that you all have the same opportunity to practice each of these subtests before we actually get to camp. So if I were you, I would go ahead and take notes, screenshots of this video wherever you want to. Just a quick preview of what top testing is. Top actually stands for total overall player and it is a 10.0 ranking system between several physical and skills tests that can compare and give us um, just a more overall picture of each volleyball athlete. First, the physical subtests are something that everyone will complete. So the pro agility will be the 5-10-5 drill, testing speed and change of direction. Um, next will be height, standing reach, approach vertical, and block touch. Um, please keep in mind that we are scoring these numbers based on your position. For example, a libero and a middle hitter that are both 5-10 uh, will not receive the same score on a 10.0 scale. So here comes the very important part of this video. I'm going to explain some of these subtests so that you can all practice them and we can actually run through them as smoothly as possible at camp. First, let's go over the target setting series. We will go through stationary front set, which is what you're seeing right now, along with the compass front set and compass back set. Each of these will be weighted differently, but scored in the same way. So using that target setting hoop, each set will get a point for a good trajectory, so not being too high or too low, and then up to three points for making it in the hoop. So a clean swish will be worth three points. Um, a ball where it hits the side of the hoop and then goes in would be two, and just hitting the hoop is worth one. Next is the serving and attacking battery, which are scored very similarly. If I were you, I would actually just go ahead and take a screenshot of this court diagram. Those are going to be the accuracy zone points. So serving will be from whichever spot you'd like, uh, and you can do whatever serve you'd like. So if you jump serve uh, with topspin, that's fine. You can jump float, standing float, whatever you want. And another note on attacking is that you will be attacking from a toss. So if you misstep, maybe start too early or get a bad toss, um, I'm going to ask that you catch the ball and do not tip it. Anything that crosses the net um, will be given a velocity and will be scored. So if you don't think that you can hit it, go ahead and catch it. It'll just be a wash. So next here is serve receive. Pretty simple, scored on a four point passing scale. Um, so four points straight to the setter three points for a three hitter option pass, two points for two hitter option, one for an out assist ball, and zero for an ace. Um, again, if you think a ball is going out, go ahead and let it go. We will score it as a wash as well. Defense, the defensive tests will be 10 reps alternating from the left and right pins as well. The defensive test is more for basic defensive skills. So here we are just focusing on digging an attack either at you or within a step or two. Uh, this passing will also be scored on that same four point scale as serve receive, and you will be required to report back to that base position after each rep. The touch eight drill will be for liberos only and will factor in some very difficult defensive opportunities like running down tips or hard driven balls. Each player will receive eight reps alternating from the left and right pin again and each libero will complete the drill in left and middle back. The passes will be scored on that same four point passing scale again. Um, just keep in mind that these tests were created super difficult so that even the best players in the country uh, would not be able to score perfectly. Finally is the blocking battery. So we actually don't have any footage on this yet, but I'll try to paint you guys a pretty good picture. 
Um, there will be two tennis balls simulating basically where your block should end up. And the goal is to go through your full blocking move quickly and efficiently, um, jumping high enough to grab those tennis balls and then land uh, within the lines so that you're not floating. Uh, the balls will be moved up in height after each rep. Um, again, the scoring breakdown will be always you get plus one point for landing within the lines, so you're not floating. Um, and then with the tennis balls, you'll get three points for a completely perfect rep, meaning that you grab both the tennis balls, bring them down, and control them back to your um, a base position. Uh, two points for just being able to touch the tennis balls, um, so that means either you're not able to bring them down or you hit the net with the tennis balls while you're bringing them down. Um, and then one point for just a clean jump. You don't touch the tennis balls at all. Maybe you don't get up high enough. Um, and then the net faults are always going to be an automatic zero. Um, and the only point that you can score on a net fault, so meaning part of your arm touches the net, um, as long as you land in between those lines, you will still be able to score that one point, but you will not earn any tennis ball points. Um, again, you will be going six reps to the left and six reps to the right. So we are actually at the end of this video now. Thank you guys for sticking around. If I were you, I would actually go back and maybe take notes or screenshot the parts of the video that you know that you may have to complete um, or just rewatch part of this video um, periodically to practice. But we will be using the top scores at the Future 50. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and just shoot me an email, but I am excited to see you all at the Future 50.